So day two is trying to get workouts to work here basically <laughs> so if you know how do you get good workouts in Ghana okay. like, some of the application I've gotten there was uh, one that particularly stood out to me first class graduate from KUNST applying to work at a small uh, wine shop in Ghana I'm like so this thing is everywhere <laughs> Hypnotized, I don't know why she got me feeling this <sighs> So hi guys, welcome to day two of trying to like uh, open wine shop in Ghana in five days so I've basically been at the shop here since morning it's uh, almost 3 p.m. now I'm really hungry I'm just taking a food break and then I realized I haven't been filming basically <laughs> it's a lot of things so let me quickly walk you through what we're doing today so for the past couple of days basically I've been coming doing some interviews while trying to get the finishing touches done you know right so i came in today like i said yesterday if you watch the previous video i basically said the oh this burger seems small what is happening to burger king basically this i just paid 60 64 cities for this Basically, bread and a tiny piece of ham in it, and nothing else. And ketchup. Hmm? This is the fourth season. Mm -hmm. How is this supposed to kill me? Anyway, I'm so hungry. I'm going to eat. I should have gone for the love instead. <laughs> mm. Anyway, like I was saying. So I've been doing some interviews. Today I came to complete the interview so I can finalize who and who I'm going to work in it. You know. And then uh, okay, I was saying the carpenter. Do you know I've been waiting for this guy since Monday? He didn't come. Because he has taken his money. <laughs> All these workmen in Ghana, eh? I don't even want to get into all of that. He, he was supposed to come today to come fix these shelves because some of them are too wide, so bottles can't fit. So they are too wide, bottles cannot fit, right? I was supposed to come fix that today, but he didn't come. So hopefully, tomorrow will be able to come and do that. And also, the guy working on my that working on the payment station I was supposed to come today also and finish installation I think he installed the software yesterday Shai, he was supposed to come and finish uh, finish that up and then we'll do training for today I've not seen either one of them so I'm just working on the drinks I just finished the whole sticker then I rearranged that session a bit and then the interview so let's talk about the interview some of the job applications i've gotten it's so funny so some of the job application i've gotten so far eh? i think the first set of application i was just laughing because it was a um, high school uh to the people that just finished high school basically and the way they wrote the application was funny and i was i remember i was talking to my friend like i i remember when i was this young and clueless about stuff but then was just one of those things. Then as I started getting more requests, as that's more um as I getting where well, these things more applications more applications right and then one thing I've realized is oh some of these people are applying for this job to come and work at the bar here 
because uh, the way we're going to run it will be like a wine shop, regular daytime, and then towards the evening, it's just about the bathroom. We have um, the art outside session, so we're actually looking for a couple of workers to come and work here, right? Some of the bases applying for this job, I feel like they are too qualified for it. Like when I put out the application, I was expecting this basically a uh, high school. I'm I'm always uh, wanting to say secondary school because we say secondary school in Nigeria, right? High school uh, live uh, graduates that I was thinking would apply for it. Oh, I'm not okay. But then. Some of the application I've gotten, there was uh, one that particularly stood out to me. First class graduate from KUNST applying to work at a small uh, wine shop in Ghana. I'm like, so this thing is everywhere. Like our government, they continually failed us. Like why is the first class graduate looking to work at a at the wine shop? So it's not just in Nigeria; it's everywhere. The whole of Africa, basically. Our government they failed up because a first class graduate shouldn't even be looking for for job. Some of them looking for a job at the wine shop. So I'm like, this person is too qualified. If I employ you, how much am I expected to pay you? Because I feel like the the individual deserve more than this. So I'm having a bit of um, a difficulties trying to figure out how to take and who not to take because. Obviously, this is my first time I'm, I'm uh, conducting interviews like this, trying to get work out. Like back home in Nigeria, our shops in Nigeria, basically, we basically just employ people you know already. People in your area, you know them, you know about the uh, customer service, you know the family also. Basically, you just employ them and you're working. But now, I have to like figure out a lot of things. I have to put a lot of things into consideration. It's a new shop. So one of the most important things of a, 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 a shop like this that is dealing with customers day in day is amazing or, or premium customer service and I've been in Ghana for a while one thing I can confidently tell you in Ghana is I've not experienced good customer service in more than one or two places or both places I've visited like it's very difficult to go to a place and you see good customer service staff attend to customers well so i don't want to like employ people that if i'm not here they will chase off customers or be rude to customers and guests and all of that people that are not good in customer service and then also so trustworthy because this is a, a a business where money will be coming in daily right and then yeah you need someone that's a, a bit trustworthy because if you're leaving them in charge of a shop you're not here you need someone quite close to this. So, uh, some of the daily mass I'm fixing currently is trying to figure all of that out. Basically, I don't just I don't want to get this wrong. I want to I want to get everything uh, 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 perfect, not perfect, just good or something like that. I don't even know what I'm saying. I'm quite tired and I'm a bit stressed. You can't show if you see my if you see my face, you know I'm, I'm quite stressed. I need to actually come here and talk about that because I feel like it's one of the most difficult aspects of trying to like uh, get a uh, work as to work at a shop like this. Like how do I figure it out? All the applications I've got some both the ones sent to my mail, the paper ones. How do I how how I will I pick out the perfect there's no perfect worker, just someone good and willing to learn basically. My plan for me was my 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 plan basically was that I'm going to like um, give young people opportunity because I feel like in a lot of places they don't try or like employing young persons basically that have no experience. I'm like if, if this person is really if this if some of these persons are willing to learn, I'm willing to give them opportunity. But then I'm getting some people that are really very qualified. So now I'm just caught between do I employ this one that are very qualified or do I get a miss of both or do I go ahead and give someone new the opportunity they deserve to get the experience that uh, most employers they they ask for. It's just it's just a lot of things basically. But one thing I want here I want someone calm that's no rude good customer service and a bit trustworthy and someone that will be punctual also because 
a lot of a, a lot of money a lot of time energy has gone into putting this place together i wouldn't want someone to come from nowhere and be like oh it's not my business so i'm going to treat it anyhow so it's part of the things that i'm actually uh, uh, dealing with basically so yeah currently that's what i'm dealing with i've been doing some interviews since morning i've been here i didn't want to film all of that because i needed to answer me some old film that no i don't i don't want to put them just based I don't know who I'm taking yet, so filming all of that would be a bit spicy. So if you know, how do you get good workouts in Ghana? Like if you, it, if it was in Nigeria, now I can easily figure that out. I'm very good at that. But here in Ghana, I ask it. Well, it's quite noisy here because roadside is very busy. The door is locked, but still, it's still quite noisy. So I'm very sorry about that. So basically. That's what I'm. That's the dilemma I'm currently fixing, basically, because for this place to run properly, I need good workers, and I want workers that will be here. Like the first couple of months, I'll be very, I'll, I'll be here every day, basically. But I still want to have the opportunity to be able to go out and uh, uh, and see my content and know this place is running perfectly even when I'm not here. So yeah, it's a lot of things trying to figure all of that out. So day two is trying to get workers to work here, basically. <laughs> oh my goodness, now that everything's working, energy is back. So yeah, I'm going to vlog from here on now to when I leave. Okay? Tomorrow will continue, basically. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to try when I run this session. But here is still empty. I'm working a lot today. And there is still empty also. Okay. I don't know if you can see. And then I have a lot of bottles here to sort out. So yeah, let's get on to that. I need to look I can clear the verses out. I'm this way. That I basically need to clear out so I can create space to move around easily. Here, yeah. I don't know, electronics is going to come in now. Anyway, I have to figure out a lot of things. Let me quickly finish it and chill a bit, and then we get to work. See you guys in a bit. Don't know why she got me feeling this way. She's got a way about her. She's got a way about her. I'm mesmerized like every night by every word she'll say. She's got a way. Does it? 
that's it for today basically i could not get much done today but then what i think is i'm going to go home so i can sleep early today and then we'll start bright and early tomorrow if this vlog is not long enough i'm just going to do two in one for it that's two days in one yeah so yeah fingers crossed see you guys tomorrow if you're here you're watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't go anywhere yet because we're just getting started I don't know why she got me feeling this way She's got a way about her She's got a way